this video, we are going to talk about first order linear differential equation by means of an integrating factor. There's a few steps we need to follow. In step number one, we need to arrange our function given in the format of dy over dx plus pxy plus qx. So, the important things is the y should be on the left hand side of the equals to and the dy in front of the dy dx should not have a number or a variable. Once that is done, we will continue with step 2 where we are going to compare what we arrange with the equation itself and write down px. So px will be negative 2 for this case. In our next step, we need to find the integrating factor with this formula exponent to the power of integrating of px dx. So we will find that and we will put it down because our value of px just now is negative 2. So we are going to put it into our integrating factor formula. Of course, after that, we will integrate negative 2 and we will get negative 2x. Once that's done, we will follow step number 4. By multiplying each term of the equation 1 by the integrating factor. So which means what we had just now in equation 1, we will take the integrating factor and multiply each and every element there. And that will be our second equation. Next is, we are going to convert all the one on the left hand side, all the element on the left hand side, with y multiply with the integrating factor. So, that will become our y multiply by the integrating factor that will be the exponent negative 2x. Copy that down and of course our y and following the formula d over dx. Step number 6, we are going to integrate both sides. So what we are going to do is, we are going to integrate the whole thing and you can write it in this format. Alright, so the next step will be integrating 3 exponent negative 3x dx. Once we integrate that, we will have a constant which we need to clear. Okay, so what we are going to do is, we will use the number given inside the equation or inside the question sorry to form and transform our c so i will put in the numbers and i will calculate my c once that's done i'm going to put this c into the equation that i form there i'm done let's check out this question there's something in front of my dx, dy over dx. So I'm going to clear that away. So I'm going to divide everything with x squared. I'm going to end up with dy over dx plus 2y over x equals to sine x over x squared. Once that's done, I'm going to go to the second step where I'm going to compare the equation that I got with the formula. So I will write px, which for this case is 2 over x. I'm going to put this px into the integrating factor formula, which is my third step. So I will take 2 over x and put them into the integrating factor. 
Once that's done, I will get something like this. Okay, after integrating 1 over x, I will get ln x. Now, to solve this, I need to follow these few steps. So, I will bring the 2 in front of the ln x up, and that will be the power of x squared. Then, I have to remember the exponent properties. Well, exponent to the power of log e, ln, which is also log e, I will get back x squared. So from there, I will get my integrating factor as x squared only. When I'm done with that, I'm going to multiply each and every terms in equation number 1 with the integrating factor. So I'm going to get x squared dy over dx plus 2xy equals to sine x. Now, with this equation 2, I will need to convert all the one on the left hand side of the equation with y multiplied by the integrating factor, which is x squared. So I'm going to change this into d over dx, x squared, which is the integrating factor, multiply by y. Just follow the formula given here. Now I'm going to integrate both sides. So I can write it in the format of x squared times y equals to integrating sine x dx. So I have to know the formula of integrating of sine x. So that will be negative cos x. Now I need to get rid of this constant. So the, it is given inside the question x equals to pi over 4 and y equals to 0. I'm going to put everything inside and I will calculate my c, the constant. Once that's done, I will put it back into my question and because I need to get a y, so this x squared need to move to the right hand side. So it will end up like this. I'm done. Alright, please consider subscribing. I will be concentrating on same one uh, messy paper questions uh, after this video. Good luck for your exam and I wish you score good result in this semester. Good luck, goodbye, have a nice day.